But yet man got so hard hearted and stiff necked. And he refused to praise me. He wants to do his own thing. But I'm tired of that wicked life that man is living in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to destroy man. But the Bible said in the book of Genesis that when man had went so far in the wrong direction, uh -huh. the Bible said that Noah found grace, favor yeah. in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah. I'm going to Jonas here today, the first chapter of Jonas. Say, but Noah find favor and grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. Favor and grace works together. You can't separate favor from grace. Because they are consolidated together. God said he was going to destroy man a cause of his disobedience. I'm glad I'm not talking to some disobedient folks today. But after Noah found grace and favor, God told him what to do, how to escape. How many know God will tell you what to do when you don't know what to do? God told Noah to build an ark. And why are you building the ark? Preach and teach the people. Tell them they need to repent of their sins and, and come in. Repent of their sin and come in. That's the thought today. And the Bible declared that Noah worked there for a hundred and twenty years. Preaching and teaching to the people that it's going to rain after a while. Some of them said, Dan, just like they saying today, listen to that fanatic. He and she don't know what they're talking about. It never has rained before. What is that anyway? But Noah say, hold on a little while longer. It's going to be here after a while. The Bible said that every time the hammer would rain, it was saying, son of man, you need to repent. <laughs> Romans 6 and 23 say the wages of sin is death. Yeah. But the gift of God are eternal life. They walk by, they mock, and they scoff, and they say all kind of philanthropy in his presence. But that didn't stop Noah. Noah just kept on praying. I want to tell somebody today when they call you out of your name and criticize you, cast you aside. Call you everything except what you are. Don't worry about it. You just keep on praying. Because how many know that the Lord will make a way somehow? How many know the Lord will make rough plays smooth? How many know the Lord will fight your battle? If you only hold your peace. Prophet Jehoshaphat was a, a witness that the Lord fight his battle. 
when he didn't have enough men, power, strength on his own. Uh -huh. God told Brother Jehoshaphat what to do. And when God speak to you and tell you what to do, uh, I don't care how hopefully the situation look. You might not look like you can win with a name. But if God tell you uh, that everything is going to be all right, I stop by to tell you, if God tell you it's going to be all right, uh, that everything is all right right then. God told Brother Joe, uh -huh, have to say, say, if you just do what I tell you to do, uh, and say everything is going to be all right. And you have to think went up against a king that had enough men, enough strength, and enough power to turn the world upside down. Somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you. Know? But look at Jehoshaphat with 300 men. Now, I don't care nothing about 30,000. I, I can take this few men that I have. If they be obedient, yeah, if they do what I say do, God will give us the victory. Somebody say God will give us the victory. We don't need a whole lot, but just use what you got. And I declare to you, if you use what you got, God will give you the victory. Clap your hand and say, thank you, Lord. I feel my help coming now. And, and I saw Prophet Jehoshaphat when he was going up against 30,000 with just 300 and looked like they was going to swallow him up. But as he began to go, God said, go and I'll be with you. I feel my help coming now. Yeah, I fight a many battle, and I, and I never lost a one. Jehoshaphat got his men together, and I saw him when he looked over at the choir and say, in my mind, I, Sister Ferguson, I, when I tell you to sing, I want you to sing. Uh, when I tell you to shout, uh, I want you to shout. Uh, and now they got close to the enemy. Uh, seemed like the enemy was coming in on them. Uh, have you ever been that way? Uh, seemed like the enemy was going to overtake you. Uh, but when the enemy was coming in with the bow and narrows uh, and closing Jehoshaphat and his few men in, uh, I heard Jehoshaphat look at the choir and said I want you to sing and they begin to sing and they begin to praise God how many know that when you praise God he will tear the devil can't down he begin to praise God and the Bible say the enemy they got so confused till they turn on one another they start fighting one another. Uh, and Joe has to fact in it, me and got to praising God. I tell you today, if you want to defeat the devil, all you got to do is praise God. Uh, yeah! Somebody say, I got a right to praise him. Uh, I'm a praise him right now. Uh, clap your hand and give God the praise right now. Yes! Yeah! Good God Almighty. Uh, I got to move on to my subject here today. I'm glad y'all bearing with me. The book of Josiah, the first chapter, and beginning at the first verse. Now the word of the Lord came unto Josiah, the son of Amidia, saying, Arise and go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for the weakness has came before me. But Josiah arose up, and flee unto Towson uh, from the presence of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, oh my God. Uh, and went down to Joppa uh, and find a ship going to Tulsa. So he paid this fare. Can I talk like a woman? Uh, he paid the fare thereof uh, and went down unto it to go unto to them. Uh, oh my God. Uh, he was trying to get away from the 
presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind unto the sea, and there was a mighty temper in the sea, so that the ship was almost to be broken in two. Somebody clap your hand and tell God thank you. Almost to be destroyed. But God told Jonah to go down to Nineveh and cry against that weakest city and let them know that I'm sick and tired of the sin. I'm sick and tired of the way they live it. I'm sick and tired of it. And if they don't repent, if they don't repent, I will destroy Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. God is not pleased at the way that the United States of America is doing. He's not pleased of the way the other countries are doing. We need to come together. We need to love God. We need to work together. Churches are against one another. Y'all don't hear me. Lay members are against one another. Everybody seems to be going astray. But God God wants to bring us together. Huh? Say, husband, love your wife. Huh? Wife, love your husband. Huh? Children, obey your parents. Huh? Do what the word of God say do. And everything going to be all right. Clap your hand and give God some praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God told Jonah to go. You're telling somebody today to go. Telling somebody now you need to repent. Telling somebody now you need to get your act together. Telling somebody now time is winding up. Time is winding up. It's time to give your life to Christ. I don't care what you've done or where you've been or where you're thinking about going. You need to go with Jesus. You need to go with Jesus. You need to walk and talk with Jesus. You need to have that communication. Every day of your life, you need to pray. Tell the Lord, thank you. God told Jonah that we could sit it. Good God Almighty. Kind of look like the United States of America. Look. That we could sit it. I want you to go and tell them something. Can I talk just a little while? Jonah looked at him and said, I'm uneducated. I'm a cornfield boy. Raised in the country. Brought up in poverty. And I, I, I ain't nobody. So you was going to send me over there to those high, sophisticated folk to try to preach to them? They not going to hear me. All that money they got, all of that stuff that they have generated, and I'm a little country boy raised up in the corn field. How can an uneducated man like me go and talk to such a sophisticated folk and tell them what the Lord say? They not going to hear me, but tell the devil he's a liar. If God say go, he'll go with you. If God say I'm for you, I'm going the whole world against you. Don't let the devil block your progress. Do I have anybody here today that's willing to go for the Lord? Do you? Are you willing? Clap your hands. Say, I go, Lord. I go, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. So Jonah said, before I get out there going, I better see, can I get some help here? Can I get some help here? Can I get somebody to help me pray? Oh, clap your hand there, God, thank you. See, Jonah, when he went round to some of his friends, Minister Easter, and say, seem like I got a mind. Somebody talking to me and tell me to go down to Nineveh. Yeah, that high class city. Oh yeah, the can got on that sip road. Everybody so high so did it. And I'm a little poor country boy. And they want me to go down there and try to tell them something. Do you think I can tell them anything? Somebody say, no, they ain't gonna hear you. But the devil is a liar. 
Say the devil is a lie. When God say go, he'll go with you. Hey! I feel God moving here today. He talked to many of them and they told him it's not worth you going. They not go obey you. But I tell you, if you don't follow God, if you don't do what God say do, you're going to run into trouble up the road. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Trouble up the road. Tell somebody you better obey God. If you don't, you're headed for trouble. Will you obey God? Say yeah. I will obey him. I will trust him. I will do what he say do. Tell the Lord thank you. But Jonah say well I, I tell you what I can do. Everybody done told me I'm not going to be able to make it. But what I'm going to do I'm going to play hooky with God. You know how sometimes your parents used to be sending you to school. And instead of you going to school, you went to the pool room. Huh? They thought you was at school and you was over in the pool room. Or you went elsewhere. You went every way except where you should have been going. But I tell you, you better turn around because they trouble up the road. Somebody's doing the wrong thing now. You need to turn around because there's trouble up the road. Now look at old Josie. Uh -huh. Look at, look at, look, 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 look at Jonah. Look at Jonah if you will here please. I hope I've been calling him Josie all the time because I got Josh over here on the organ. But look at old Jonah. Look at him here now when everybody told him it ain't going to work. You ain't going to be able to do anything. Uh, so then uh, uh -huh, Jonah say, I tell you what I do. I just play hooky with God. He going to think that I'm going to Nineveh. I'm going to go down to the river and I'm going to pay my own fare. And I'm going to get on the ship uh, that I want to get on. Uh, instead of going to Tops, uh, I'm going to go to my Yes, sir. Instead of going to Nineveh, I'm going to go to Tosh. I'm not going down there to them folk. But the Bible say he, uh -huh, uh -huh. missionary Hicks say he got on the ship. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Somebody on the ship, uh -huh. but they're on the wrong ship. Yeah. Somebody else on the ship, but they're going the wrong direction. Uh -huh. uh, can I talk to you a little while? Uh, and when Jonah uh, got on the ship, uh, yeah. but it was gone uh, in the wrong direction. Yeah. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, and after a while, uh, your Lord uh, and my God, uh -huh. uh, he got tired. Yeah. Yeah. But Jonah playing hooky with him. Uh, you might have played hooky in school. Uh, you might have played hooky with your wife. Uh, you might have played hooky with your husband. Uh, but I stopped by to tell you uh, that God, uh, God is, uh, God is, uh, he's taught uh, of your tricks. Uh, he's taught. Uh, a playing game uh, you better get right you better get right you better get right yeah he may come tonight uh, are you ready uh, are you ready uh, he may just come uh, and don't let him catch you uh, or whip your work undone uh, I feel God moving today uh, good God am I uh, but John uh, got on the ship uh, and after a while uh, he was sailing up uh, he was cruising up uh, but after a while uh, God looked down uh, and said Jonah uh, you can't hide you can't hide you can't hide oh you cut somebody and say you can't hide say you can't hide God got your number. Yeah. Death knows yeah. all about you. Yeah. Joe said yeah. he knows. 
move yeah. the way I take. Yeah. Good God Almighty, yeah. if I go to the right, yeah. he knows about it. Yeah. If I go down yeah. Yeah. to the bottom of the sea, yeah. he knows about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God knows. Come to my and after a while, look at Joseph, look at Jonah, yeah. the ship. Uh, run into trouble uh, good God almighty uh, I tell somebody uh, what you ought to do uh, before the storm ride uh, you ought to get prepared uh, and turn around uh, because you keep going uh, uh -huh. there's trouble, there's trouble. Uh, up the road uh, yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Trouble up the road, and after a while, when Jonah thought he had it made, good God Almighty, the ship ran in to a clamor out on the sea, and seemed like the ship was going to break in pieces. Can I talk a little while? Good God Almighty, yeah, and I, I, I hey. I heard the shipmaster said, I've been on the water for a long time and I never had seen it like this before. Yeah! Hallelujah! Oh! John laid there in trouble. Somebody in trouble? Uh -huh. Time to call on God. Uh -huh. You are in trouble. Uh -huh. But he still tried to play hooky. Uh -huh. He went on down uh, to the bottom of the deck. Uh -huh. Seemed like the ship uh, was going to purr. Uh -huh. Really? Uh, from one side to the top. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. The shipmaster went down uh, and he saw Jonah. Uh -huh. Daddy was asleep. We have some pretenders in the church. Can I talk a little while? Yeah! When the word is going forth to keep them, to stop praising God, they want to try to fool the preacher. They want to try to fool somebody, making that day all sleep. But the devil is a liar. I know you hear the word. I know the word is going for. I know the word is going to save. I know God is going to deliver you. I know God is going to set you free. You not asleep. You better raise your hand and lift your voice and start praying. Shipmaster, look at John. Say, wake up. Wake up. Oh, you sleeper. What are your name? What are your occupation? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? Hallelujah, Jesus. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Jonah, Jonah. look at me. Say, I'm a Hebrew. I'm one of the slaves. I'm one of them that came up on the rough side of the mountain. I'm a poor boy. I ain't had sufficient clothes. A lot of time I didn't have food to eat. Hallelujah, Jesus. I live from hand me down to hand me down. I had a hard time. Coming up through the year, my mother and father were slaves, and I am a slave. Hallelujah. Where you going, John? Hallelujah, Jesus. But the reason why I'm on this ship, yeah. going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. I know my education wasn't qualified for me to go where I supposed to go. But tell the devil he's alive. 
God can take the little education you got and give you favor beyond your wildest dreams. God can give you position that you are not qualified because God can give you that favor if you praise him. Do I have anybody here willing to praise him? Say yellow! Jonah said, but that's all right. That's all right. Tell somebody that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Say, take me up. Take me up. Don't let everybody die along with me. You just take me up. Take me up. I know the wind is blowing and the lightning is flashing and the stunning is rolling, but you just take, take me, me up. up. Reach, Mr. Take me up. Do what you want to do. I know I sinned against God. Do what you want to do with me. I disobey God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know they cast lots. But we ain't going there today. Yeah. They took Jonah up. Took him up. Took him up. Took him up. They took him up. Say they took Jonah up. They took him up. Water was coming in the ship. Seemed like everybody was going to drown. The more they tried to throw it out, the more it came in. The ship master say, I've been here for a long time. I've never seen it like this before. Huh? Oh! Oh! Hallelujah. Oh! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. I don't want the blood. To be on my hand. Uh -huh. Jonah said, don't worry about it. Uh -huh. You just take me up. Take me up. Come on, Bishop. Do what you want to do. You just take me up. Take me up. Everything going to be all right. Uh -huh. Lieutenant Artisan say, take me up. Take me up. Take me up. Take me up. Uh -huh. gonna be all right i don't care what they try to do to me they can't do nothing for me good to see you free got to see you ah deacon got to see y'all got to see you say take me up 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 Take me up. Take me up. Take Throw me up. overboard. Throw me overboard. It'll be all right. Yeah. Somebody clap your hand and tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Say it's going to be all right now. It's going to be all right now. They took him up. Cast him into the sea. Let me tell you something. You can't get away from God. No, no, you can't. God got a purpose yeah. and a plan for your life. And if you're going the wrong way, you got time now to turn around. You got time now to repent. You got time now to get it right. And whenever they cast him into the sea, look at God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The devil thought it was all over. Yeah, Brother was... Morgan when they cast him into the sea, but it just began. Hallelujah. It ain't over. It ain't over. 
when they cast him uh -huh. into the sea. Yes. I feel like talking today. God prepared a great fish. The Bible says it was a fish. Now you might have said it was an alligator, but I ain't worried about that, what he and she said. The second chapter, Jonah, and the first verse said, God, yes. uh -huh, prepare out of the fish's belly. Yes, and Jonah said, that second verse, and said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. Yes, and he. And he did what, Minister Easter? He heard me. He did what? He heard me. He did what? He heard me. What did he do? Out of the belly he cried. Out of the belly he cried. Read. Verse 2. And I said. And I said. I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me. And he did what? And he heard me. Let me tell you something. I don't care how deep you are down there. I don't care how deep you are dying in sin. I don't care what you's confronted with. If you cry to the Lord, yeah. he will hear you. He'll hear you. Read Minister Easter. Out of the belly of hell cried I. He said he was in the belly of hell. He was in the belly of hell. Somebody Lord. said they didn't know hair got a bit. Uh, they didn't know uh -huh, hair got a belly. But I tell you, hair got everything that you don't need. Come on, Bishop. Out of the belly of hair, he did what? Cried I. He did what? Cried. He did what? Cried. And what happened? And thou heardest my voice. And heard my voice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For thou hast cast me into the deep. Thou hast cast me unto the deep. Yeah. And in the midst of the seas. Listen to this now. Jonah was in trouble. Yes, Did y'all hear me? Yes. Jonah was going through some agony. He's going through some uh -huh, complication. He was going through pain. He was going through things that he wasn't pleased with. But he said, I cried. I'm going to let y'all go on a little bit. Yeah, he said, I cried unto the Lord, and the Lord heard me. Out of the belly of hell, he heard me. Out of the belly of hell, I cried to the Lord. He said, the sea reed from the fish's belly were wrapped around my head. Yeah, my eyes were closed up, but I couldn't see my way. But I cried. But I cried. I cried. I couldn't see my way. So I green, but I cried. When trouble is all around you, cry to the Lord. Cry out to my Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Got him an echo, my Yeah, Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord 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 Jesus. But I'm crying out to you. Lord, heal my body. Lord, heal my body. Lord, deliver my life. Come now. Lord, set me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. John said, when I cry. The Lord heard me. Clap your hand if he ever heard your prayer. 
the Lord heard me. The Lord delivered me. The Lord set me free and told me now go on to Nineveh. Go ahead on to Nineveh. Go ahead on and do what I told you to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And if you were, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you yes. were the long way. Yes. Three and four days journey. Yes, it was, Bishop. Yes. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Uh huh. When God delivered Jonah, set Jonah free. Yes. Jonah said, Lord, I go. Lord, I do what you want me to do. Lord, here I am. Send me, Lord. Here I am. I know he got comfort under that tree and God sought the worm to cut it down, but I ain't talking about that. Cause we either to get comfort, we either to get relaxed. But the main important thing, doing what God say do. Hey, Jonah got up and made it in one day. <laughs> Clap your hand and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my breakthrough. Thank you for making a way for me. Lord, I pray. Lay your hand on somebody's shoulder. Ekoma, ekoma. Lay your hand on somebody's shoulder. Everybody touching and agreeing. Hey, my ekoma, ye kanama. No coma e coma ye canamalie. God saved the day. God delivered the day. God set free the day. God healed the day. In the name of Jesus, we'll serve you, Lord. We'll go for you. I'm your child. Say, I'm your child. I'll be obedient. I'll do what you want me to do. Send me, Lord. Here am I. Hey, 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 hey. Here am I. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for another day's blessing. Thank you for another day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for healing. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for setting me free. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and say in the name of Jesus. I claim it. I claim it. I claim healing. I claim deliverance. I claim my breakthrough. Right now. I've been delivered. Right now. I'm depending on you to see me through that problem I'm facing I'm depending on you hallelujah say Lord I thank you for 2015 I'm a live for you I'm a pray you you gonna take me through I'm depending on you in Jesus name 
in Jesus name shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah hey hallelujah hey thank you thank you Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. God is good. I say God is good. Hallelujah. And if you've been dancing on the barroom floor, make up your mind. Don't dance no more. Time is winding up. Time is winding up. Structure is in the land. My God going to move his hand. Time is winding up. Time, time, time is winding. Oh, time, time. Oh, yeah. I know. I know time is winding. Folks used to say something like this. Curse, keep a rolling time. Oh, yes, they said. Uh, curse, keep on rolling. I know. Give God some praise in the house. 